Welcome to the Holy Yogi, where we help you find the spiritual guru inside of you. Hello, beautiful. Hello, handsome. How you doing today? And if no one has told you today that they love you, let me be the first. I love each and every single one of you because love makes the world go round and round and round. And love is truly the greatest medicine of them all. And simply put, love, ladies and gentlemen, it always, it always wins. Okay, what is the message for today? Hey, listen, I want to give a shout out to all of our new Thy tribe. Yeah, that's the holy yogi tribe. Thy tribe. Kind of cool, huh? Um, the spiritual terminology of thy. Thy shall not <laughs> commit adultery. <laughs> Let me put that energy out there. Anyway, um, in a nutshell, I'm so glad to have you guys on board. I'm so glad that you're invigorated, you're inspired by a lot of my messages, and I'm motivating so many of you to fast for spiritual reasons. So many of you to go out there and get that millions of dollars and abundance of money that is waiting for you that you are divinely ordained to have. I'm so proud of a lot of you just quite, quite frankly, just getting your spirit picked up and realize how dynamic that that the world is and how you can live heaven right here on earth. So a shout out to each and every one of you that have placed comments that have asked questions that have uh, shared shared just good good, you know, compliments, you know, appreciation, acknowledgement, and applause. So I'm applauding you today, especially you today that are here today, that are on this particular video, that is watching this information. And what I want to tell you to do before you go anywhere, do anything, like, comment, subscribe, and ding, 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 hit that notification button because we have got so many tons of information. I'm going to be doing pendulum readings. I'm going to be doing carry shells, African spirituality. We're going to talk about carry shells. I'm going to be doing medicine cards for our Native American, you know, tribe and influence and Native American spirituality. Um, you know, the whole works, the new age spirituality, law of attraction, the metaphysics of all of life, what it's all about, and more importantly, how it's planning out, how it's working for me, so it can also work for you too. Okay, so with that said, this is what I want to talk about today because it is truly, I always call it today, it's Monday, so I always call it Motivation Monday, and I call it Mantra Monday, and I call it Manifestation Monday, you know. So for you, it's going to be a couple of things. We're going to talk about Manifestation Monday and Mantra Monday. And the reason why in order for you to get that manifestation you got a mantra in. It's all about repeating things over and over and over again. Japa, I think they call it in, um, you know, um, Hindu religion and philosophies and the like, Japa. You know, saying something repetitively over and over and over again until it comes into fruition and you manifest it. Well, you guys know I'm about abundance and producing it in my life and let me share the story on once again how it works and and i want you to watch the video and i'm gonna try to put it up here down there or somewhere around here um in regards to let there be light let there be light okay let there be light so in genesis chapter 1 verse 3 um there is a saying that god said let there be light and there was light and what that basically means on a metaphysical level is that whatever it is that you are asking questions about and that you are perplexed and in the physical world, it has not manifested of hopes or prayers or dreams or whatever the case may be. In order to get greater clarity and knowledge and things of that nature, you ask the universe, that's what prayer is, is our conversation with God and the meditation is God's answer back to us what it is that you want. You put it out there, you place your order out to the universe, just like you place your order in a restaurant and you sit back and you wait until the universe will provide for you whatever it is that you need. The one thing I want everybody to get to realize was everybody always thinks that something out there is out there to get them, is to stop them, to, to accomplish their dreams and aspirations. That is hype and that is not true at all. Let me tell you right now, God, the universe, whatever it is that you want to call it for yourself, wants the very best for you and will deliver 
exactly what you are requesting. But see, a lot of us don't realize it at a subconscious level, and even sometimes at a conscious level, we gotta watch our words and watch our actions. We speak into existence what we don't want to happen. And that's what we focus all our energies on and talk about what we don't want to happen, okay? So that's what's happening in your life, but you don't want to happen. You know, I hope it doesn't rain today. Well, you say, I hope it doesn't rain today. What happens? It rains today. You say, I just like I've been saying, I hope it don't want to rain today. But life and death is in the power of the tongue. That's Proverbs 18, verse 21. So you got to understand you speak your good or you speak your bad, you know, etc. So what I did was let there be light. And the light for me was, ladies and gentlemen, for the last 14 years, I have been trying desperately to master this Forex trade. Why? Simply put, I think it is one of the best ways. You know, I'm in the numerology and everything too. You know, all, everything is all is in the numbers. And one of the key things that I learned from the last 2008, like I said, the blessing is in the lesson. You always want to learn from your past mistakes or more importantly, other people's past mistakes because it saves you time, money, energy, and stress. But the one lesson that I learned from the last crisis and the, and the real estate boom and bust that I was a, a part of and I personally uh, experienced after losing all of my money, well, once again, all right, I'm clear that something within me was causing that loss. So now I am in the business of healing that, right? So in a nutshell, one thing I learned was that when it came to the banks, we depend on the banks, we depend on the stockbroker. I even have my securities license, this is individuals, to basically trade our money for us. You know, we put in a stock market and we get our the best assessment on education on what stocks and things of that nature we should we should invest into. Well, we know that unfortunately some people, they lie, they cheat, they steal, and more importantly, they uh, manipulate the market, okay? And the people are not educated. The people that put their hands and their money and their trust sometimes in other people, um, it doesn't pan out that way. So what I decided to do, because nobody's going to take care of my money better than me or even your money better than you, I decided that I was going to get in the business of trading my own money, okay? And uh, so, in order to be able to do that, I got to learn how to trade. Let me tell you, been through approximately nine teachers of trying to learn how to trade off and on for the last 14 years, and I'm going to put it all on me. Sometimes it literally is just that that teacher didn't fit me, didn't fit, you know, what I needed in order to get to the next level. So once again, you know, I went back to the drawing board after spending another thousand dollars. And I did think that she was the one. And in essence, she was. She was. We, and that's what I want to let you know. Sometimes people are the, the catalyst or the, because um, what she did do for me was that she reinvigorated my desire to learn Forex trading, to master it. And when I had once again gotten to the, um, this other business and she had a site and we connected and things of that nature. She did teach me a lot. She taught me one of the key things that she taught me that, um, you know, we're about the same age and, and, and she was a female trader, which is very rare to find female traders in their, in their late forties and early fifties and, and the like the mid fifties. Matter of fact, I just met another diva on Saturday that's in her fifth, early fifties um and the like and so it was really invigorating and to see that she was successful at it and she was trading so that image alone was very fortifying and gratifying unfortunately um her trading style was just too complicated for me and i could see after three months in of learning how to trade um that it just wasn't working out. And I saw my future in other students, students that were there for a year and they were just now getting it. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand it takes time to learn how to do anything. But keep in mind, 14 years that I've been trying, I do know some things. And I also know at this stage and juncture what works and what does not work. And it was not working. And I just didn't want to wait. And Spirit was just telling me, 
I was on once again YouTube and I was searching and not searching, you know, just the universe always guides you and saw a couple of people because I was trying to learn this risk management thing. That's the one thing I never, I was on this perpetual, you know, they say paper trade, you know, a demo trade before you put your real money in the market. And I never put my real money in the market because I never, ever felt comfortable with just throwing. I just, it was never laser targeted. I wasn't taking calculated risk because no one taught me to risk management. Every time I asked the teacher about risk management, they would tell me the basics, but they didn't tell me, hey, this is the amount of money you should invest into the market. This is the amount of money you should um, uh, uh, only risk at this particular investment that you're going to make. This is how much the pips is value. This is how much, this is the risk. And if you risk it, this is how much reward. And what's the reward to risk ratio and all that kind of stuff. And tell this one guy, I'm searching. And I saw a couple of other people I was looking at, you know, contemplating on taking another course in the thousands of dollars. But I'm, I'm tired of spending thousands of dollars. I'm, I spent about over $10,000. So once again, let there be light. I would said that mantra. And at a subconscious level, um, I was looking and I wasn't looking, but right when I was just about to go and check out, I saw this guy. And then the key thing that really attracted me, he was answering my question, risk management. So I said, let me check him out. But ladies and gentlemen, he literally taught me for free on YouTube. Exactly. I didn't know how to, I know terminology, how to rephrase it. But exactly what I was looking for as far as risk management. I mean, it was, it was just simple. It was a basic, but a very most profound thing. Because it was the difference between you winning and losing in this whole Forex training game. I was so elated. And then I contacted this gentleman. Because I'm sitting here thinking to myself, my goodness. If this gentleman can teach me this absolutely for free, what could he teach me if I paid him some money? I mean, like I said, after I got this, then I really knew he knew what it took to not only trade well himself, but also to create other good traders. Well, anyway, I contacted him. He contacted me back, very spiritual. His is of the Christian religion, belief, and philosophy. And guess what he told me? God gave him one night. When he was up just as frustrated and challenged as I was at Forex trading, he gave him a strategy called Skittles, the Skittles strategy. He said, Elon, it truly is easy. Trading is easy. And when he said it at first, I was like, you know, that's such a scammy term terminology. But with his conviction, with his passion, I could tell he was being authentic. He was being sincere and he was telling the truth. And so, you know, once again, and not only that, he was involved with the MLM company and I did not want to be involved with another MLM Forex trading company. I'd already been through it three times. And guess what? It was the same company for the fourth time <laughs> that I was in it. And I tell you, listen, listen to me. That's what I'm saying. Never give up. Always keep searching. Always keep looking. And God is going to lead you along the path of truth. Because ladies and gentlemen, the moral of the story, after talking with him, after 14 years of searching and trials and tribulations and a whole lot of money, guess what? In 14 days, I did a live trade on Bitcoin USD and I made a whopping 20 bucks cash successful trade, boom, using this system. And it really would have took me, I could have did it within a week's time, but had trouble getting on, uh, you know, getting my account and all that kind of stuff together. It took a little longer than usual because of COVID-19. They're doing a lot of double identity checking and all that kind of wonderful stuff. So nevertheless, finally, finally, because I did the spiritual work, let there be light, asking the universe to finally guide me to the right teacher that's going to help teach me how to do this forex trading. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in just 14 short days 
and not 14 years. And as I sit back and think about it, you know me, the so-called spiritual guru, right? The, the holy yogi. Even I didn't forgot to say, hey, look, if I had just used it 14 years ago, divine spirit, let there be light and introduce me to the right forex trader to teach me forex trader. And voila, puff, instant manifestation of what I needed. And so now that is what's going on. So I'm glad because here's another stream of income um, that I, not only myself, but my sons are learning how to trade and they've got the Skittle strategy too because what? He said it. You see, you speak into existence what you want. Forex trading is easy. I am an expert Forex trader. I am an expert Forex trader. And trading Forex is easy. And trading Forex is easy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, that's your mantra. Whatever it is that you want. You know, uh, if it's you, when you want to learn how to do computers, you know, fixing and repairing computers is easy. Doing IT is easy, okay? Learning how to do physics is easy. That's another thing I did. You know, I bought into the program that women aren't good at math. And, you know, being pre-med at the time, I had to get through a lot of physics and organic chemistry and a lot of biology, you know, organic chemistry what was the other biology course that's really difficult uh, but nevertheless you know it's all about programming your mind because once i did i got a b and let me tell you right now that was a hard earned b that was that was an a b you know what i'm saying i mean it was that uh, challenging and a well-deserved b because i worked my now don't get me wrong you put the prayers out there but you got to go in and do the work now after i found him and after I learned the Skittle strategy, even to this day, I got this morning, I spent another hour and a half studying, you know, the Skittle strategy. And we looked at charts today and we read them and we're getting ready because tomorrow I'm going to trade. Uh, and tonight we're going to see what the Bitcoin is all about. And we're going to do some trading, but I'm doing the work also. It's not just about praying and meditating because what is it? Life and death is in the power of time to work without Deed is what? Dead. Okay. Okay, no, it's faith without deed is dead. Faith without work is dead. You can, you know, faith it until you make it. But yeah, as well as you got to make it, you've got to put that work in too. You know, you got to do all the necessary steps. You know, though he had the holy grail, so I call it the holy grail of trading, you know, I had to sit there and practice. And I'm still practicing. I will be practicing for the next two years, you know, uh, to really quote unquote master it. It's just the beginning of a wonderful, beautiful relationship and trading, but I've got my retirement plan in place, but you've got to do the work. Remember the law of attraction is the word action. You've got to take action. Once you get the blessing and you get the right teacher, you got to do what the teacher tells you to do. You got to study, you've got to practice. Practice, 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 and then you've got to implement. And that's why now I'm trading clock. Cryptocurrency trading and Forex trading. So anyway, with that in mind, I hope you are excited with that information. That let there be light. As far as your wealth is concerned, let there be light. As far as your health is concerned. Oh, by the way, speaking of that, I remember I told you last time, let there be light. That I was supposed to go see... The acupuncturist, well, I went and saw the acupuncturist and she was phenomenal. I mean, woo, did she get that chi flowing throughout my whole entire body. She did cupping on the front. She did cupping on the back. I got moxie buction. I got stone, hot stone massages and things of that nature. And I feel like an absolute million dollars got that chi absolutely flowing. This is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And as far as your spirit is concerned, just me, believe it or not, we teach most what we need to learn. And as I am teaching you, what, what am I doing? I am, what once again, affirming and teaching me. And just as well as I may be inspiring and motivating you, guess what? You, my friend, are inspiring and motivating me too. It's about my art principles, reciprocity, give and receive, give and receive, give and receive, give and receive. And that's how it 
works. Okay. So with that said, let's do our wonderful minute meditation. Dear Heavenly Spirit, Divine Gracious Mother, Father God, let there be light in the light of all of my Thy tribe friends. I want you guys to let there be light as far as your health is concerned. Let there be light as far as your wealth is concerned. Let there be light as far as your spirit is concerned. You know, one diva contacted me um, and she was saying that, you know, her spirit is calling her to do a 40 day fast. And so she was asking me my advice and my experience and things of that nature. And I said, let there be light. You know, the good, beautiful thing about it is if your spirit is calling you, well, that may be a calling. But all she wants to know, when should she stop? I said, well, let there be light with that because your spirit, as well as calling you into fasting, it will call you and tell you when you need to break your fast. I mean, put the positive energy out there to do it for 40 days if that's what your spirit is calling you to do, etc. Because I'm telling you right now, to do, I've done, I think um, within the last year or two or three years, I think when I turned 50, 52, 50, 52, I did a 52-day fast or 50-day fast. It was when I turned 50, 50. Then last year I did a 40. Then then this past year, uh, no, the year before last I did a 40. This past year I did a 40. You know, so, you know, I'm up the ante, et cetera, and did a lot more of um, 20 days and 30 days, you know, because once again, Spirit was, call, was calling me to take it up a notch. My body was saying it was time to do that. Um, and so that's what I want you to understand. So let there be light. Okay, results. All right. So it is Manifestation Monday. And I want you to enjoy it and mantra Monday. So that was your mantra. Let there be light is your mantra for today. And after you do that, manifestation of all your prayers and dreams will come true. All right. Peace. Heta poo. Namaste. Have a fantastic, fantastic, glorious Monday. Bye-bye for now. See you tomorrow.